Okay, spreading. Um, this video, I'm just going to come in and do a fishtail on a piece of quarter by one. I've been dropping that material down on the front edge to about a sixteenth of an inch, and hopefully through the mechanics, you'll see the spreading of the material. Also, understand that this is also tapering at the same time. Anyway, go. Holding it flat to the anvil, starting in the center, working right and left, creeping back up to the top of my shoulder, back down to the tip. running lines down the sides to get that to form out. And down the center. So, essentially, that is both a taper and a spreading. Can we see the side view again? So it's a little bit of an abstract. I'm going to come take a second heat on this uh, for some cleanup. But it's a little bit of an abstract as a spreading construct. A lot of the time when we are approaching spreading, what we're doing is we're taking a particular area and flaring it out or spreading material width. Um, just understanding how that material moves based upon the mechanics of the face or the back end of your one last heat, nice and light, just for some finishing. Remember, if you are doing a fishtail, make sure you come all the way into the corners. If you don't, then it will become a little dumpy or held back. So, Mark, from my view, yeah. it looks like you are almost sort of like brushing your hammer, is that what you're doing? Um, not really. So because of the angle of the material, my hammer blow is essentially straight down, but because there is a slight angle to this material, the hammer is in fact bouncing forwards, and that's what gives the appearance of brushing. Um, maybe sometimes when I'm right down at the edge here, I might do a little bit of a brush stroke to really push it, but through the midriff, just a progressive flat hammer blow down to the tip. Also, your geometry of this piece is based upon how much work you've done in each area. If I work excessively down one line, this line will stretch and your ends will become uneven. So you've got to make sure that you work your lines evenly so running to the left, running to the right, running down the center evenly in order to get your material to grow evenly. If you only do this side, what will actually happen is that the whole thing will turn. Okay? So just a quickie on that. You hope to get something like this, but if instead you get something that is like this, you'll often find that the material thickness down this side is thicker than here. What you have to do is run a series of hand blows down here, progressive lines, to elongate this, which will push everything around and across. So, that is spreading in a nutshell. Um, go make some fishtails, see how they treat you.